And Matt Gates introducing a sense of Congress resolution declaring President Trump did not engage in an insurrection. Here's One America's Chloe Hawkswell. 63 House Republicans are supporting a resolution declaring President Trump did not engage in an insurrection. Representative Matt Gates brought the measure to the House floor Tuesday, saying Congress has a unique role in making this declaration. The very experts who often get on television and talk about securing democracy seem to be the first to want to then remove a candidate from the ballot because they are afraid that he is too popular. The GOP conference chair, Elise Stefanik, co-sponsored the bill, saying the American people are smart and they know the truth. As President Donald Trump continues to dominate in the polls, extreme Democrats will stop at nothing in attempt to prevent President Donald Trump from returning to the White House, and the Democrats are shredding the Constitution in the process. Many of the members who spoke Tuesday said the comments Trump made on January 6, 2021, showed he was encouraging his supporters to peacefully protest. It's a sad day when free speech is weaponized, especially against a political opponent. It's hard to engage in an insurrection when you weren't even there. President Trump told protesters to protest peacefully. He said, please support our Capitol Police and law enforcement. They are truly on the side of our country. Stay peaceful. Now, Dad Gummett, I don't know what, what he can say more than that. Does this sound like someone engaging in an insurrection? Hell no. And Representative Andy Biggs pointed out the hesitation by the leading law enforcement in the nation to call the events of that day an insurrection. The Democrats, they insisted that it was an insurrection, but the exchange between Eric Swalwell trying to get this director to say that it was an insurrection at the hearing in June of 2021, where Director A said, well, Congressman, I understand why you describe it that way, but as FBI director, that term has legal meaning. It was not an insurrection. Not one person has been charged for insurrection, and Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene asserts the push to demonize those at the Capitol that day is a political ploy. Democrats and dishonest people in the media every single day accuse President Trump of waging an insurrection and accuse many of us of waging an insurrection and you're doing nothing but lying and selling the lies of the Democrats all for campaigns and elections. Republicans say the continued attacks on Trump is an effort to remove the leading political opponent to the Democrat Party. You know how I know it wasn't an insurrection? Because he hasn't been charged with insurrection. And we can all see by the lawfare how he's facing up over 700 years in jail right now, how they've tried to destroy this man, destroy his businesses, that if they felt they had an inkling of a chance of convicting President Trump of jaywalking or insurrection, they would absolutely charge him. Senator J.D. Vance brought a companion bill to the Senate. If the measure is approved in the House, any member who continues to perpetuate the narrative will be in violation of House privileges. Those sociopaths that continue to push this lie, once we have this on the floor, if you continue to push this, you guys are all going to be guilty of breaching House privileges, okay? Because we're saying that it didn't happen. We have evidence to back it up. So just think on that for a little bit. Republicans expect more members of the conference to show their support for the bill. The radical left is attempting to destroy our electoral process. And folks, we cannot let them succeed for the benefit of our great republic. Chloe Hawkswell, One America News. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.